Yeah. All the girlfriends I've had, how many yeah. of it, how many times have I used pickup techniques? Yeah. None. None. I've yeah. never, I haven't used any pickup techniques on any girlfriend I've ever had. Every single one and every relationship I've been in, I've, I've been in has become, is better than the next one. Mm -hmm. Every single time. And yeah. my girlfriend now, I mean, it's my relationship with my girlfriend is out of control in terms of the attraction mm -hmm. and in terms of how that whole process unfolded. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it was such a romantic way that it happened. And the only way, the only reason it unfolded in that way mm -hmm. is because um, I didn't try to structure it with things. I didn't try to say, oh, I have to say this thing now mm -hmm. uh, in order to get her phone number. And then I have to text her this, this thing so that she'll text me back, right? Yeah. You let go of all of that. And when you let go of all of that, it's what we were talking about, because when the thinking mind stops, when the judging mind stops, we judge ourselves so, so hard. When we stop judging ourselves so hard, then we really become attractive, and then we really we really have something that she can become attracted to. Yeah. When we're, the more we judge, the more we think that we have to do this and this and this, the only thing that she's becoming attracted to are all the bricks that you're laying on top of that wall. There's not, not the real you behind it. You get rid of all those bricks, then the, the, the you that she's really attracted to, that's the real magic. That's the thing that really makes us feel good about ourselves. That's why pickup never works. So with pickup, we're building up this brick wall. We're saying, hey, look at my beautiful, look at my strong, awesome, confident brick wall. <laughs> and even if, no matter how attractive she is to that, it never yeah. feels good. Yeah. It never feels good because it's not really you. It's, it's just a costume. A wall. Yeah, it's a costume. And one of the one day that brick, those bricks are gonna have to come down, man. Yeah. You know, and and, and we all dread the day for that happening because the reason we built the bricks up in the first place is because we were running away from ourselves. Yeah. And uh, we're continuing to run away from ourselves until you break those bricks down. Uh huh. It's not gonna happen. And you know, step one step in that one step in that process is what we were just talking about: is letting go and and and, and treating people equally, treating people with equal respect, not yeah. treating the girl who's, who who you don't think is hot less less lesser. Uh, with, uh, less respect or in a different way than the, than you treat the girl who is hot. Well, you do want to flirt with the hotter girl, right? But you still want to treat the uglier girl with respect. You know, uh, it's, If you're not physically attracted to her, it, it, are yeah. you saying treat them the same or...? Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying treat them the same. I'm saying see them the same. I do, okay. I am saying treat them the same. Don't, you don't, what you communicate should come from you. Put what them you on the same level. But, on the same level. What yeah. you communicate should always be true. Yeah. So if you're not attracted to the lesser attractive girl, don't. To say that you are. You, can't, okay, you nice. can't control who you're attracted to, right? I'm not nice. saying be attracted to everybody or don't be attracted to anybody. No. But speak to her in a way, speak to both of them, come from the same place in your heart when you're speaking to both of them. Mm -hmm. Whether you're attracted to them or not, that's a completely, that's something else. That's saying how you really feel. Yeah. So letting go is a process of taking down that brick wall, and when there's no brick wall, that's. That's, that's, when you're, that's when your true attractive self shines. Because you're secure in yourself, and you don't need, you're not doing anything to, you don't have any agenda. You don't have any agenda. It's not even, you know what, it's not even being secure in yourself. That's even something else. It's, it's being okay with whether or not you are, you can be insecure, and that's okay, as long as you accept it. And, but ironically, the very fact of accepting it, and living in that, and relaxing into your, into your own insecurity, that actually itself makes you more secure. Mm. When you build up a brick wall, because you're insecure, that insecurity is still in there, man. That's not going away. That's going to be there. That's going to be there until that wall comes down. And mm -hmm. it can be there for a long, long time. I mean, yeah. I'm not the oldest guy in the world. I'm not young either. I'm 31 years old. And I've seen some old guys um, who have the same insecurities as the really young guys because they've mm -hmm. never let that brick wall down. Hmm. Uh, what's the best way of identifying what brick wall you have? I think you know it when you hear it. That's why with these videos that I do that when people re really resonate with it, they're all this, it's all the same shit that I've been going through too. It's all the same stuff. So when something really resonates with you, you're like, oh God, I get it. The, you know that you hit on something when it hits a nerve. Not yeah. like, not like, oh, that's a cool, clever trick that I'm gonna use. That's a cool text message that I, uh, that I can use the next time. Mm -hmm. None of that stuff. That's just building more brick walls. It's when you're saying, oh, that's me. You know, that realization that you have that's like, ah, oh, I totally see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you know you've hit a brick in your wall. Yeah. Okay. But you know, it's not, I'm not saying bring the whole thing down and have you completely, completely open. That's, I don't know if that's possible. Mm. We're all humans and we're all on our own journey. We're all on the journey of, um, of discovering ourselves. We're on the journey of, of whatever it is that we want to do. We're on a journey of growth, if you want to call it that. A journey of experience, a journey of enjoyment. Mm. So it's all a process. So enjoy the process is really the most important thing. Yeah. If we're on the right path. We're saying, okay, I see what, what's going on here. I see that I need to break down all these barriers I've built to my own insecurities and start exposing my insecurities. When you expose your insecurities, they start going away. Hmm. Um, don't be super hard on yourself to have to do it all right now. Take it slow. 
It's a slow, slow. It's a slow and steady process. Yeah. The, the an issue that that happens a lot when you really try to hammer your cell phone and say, "I gotta get rid of my insecurities. I'm doing it so hard." Is that then you run out and you go do the pickup stuff, and you're running out on the street, mm -hmm. trying really, really hard to step into your fear. <laughs> yeah. But you've missed the whole process along the way. You haven't learned the lesson. You've only got the experience, but you haven't internalized the real lesson. And the yeah. real lesson was, what was the identifying the brick? Yeah. And that's so important so that the brick doesn't come back again. Do you think Do you think you have to take down the brick wall, or once you kind of realize that what you're doing, can you just walk around the brick wall? I think it's just it's it's, it's always going to be there. Yeah, it's always going to be there. And um, like I said, don't try to smash it. Identify the bricks. Mm -hmm. And when you identify the bricks, you can gently start taking them down. Yeah. Right. And we're born into this weird universe that we don't know anything about, and um, and we spend so much time relating to other people I and mean, connection is such an important thing for everybody. We just want to be understood, we want to understand other people, we want to be loved, we want to connect with people. Mm -hmm. That's our journey. That's the process that we are all every single one of us. Nice. You know? Uh huh. So uh, it's okay. Appreciate that. Because every woman that you come across, every girl that you come across, she's on the exact same journey as you. We think we're the only ones experiencing that because we can only see the world from our own perspective. We, can, we only know our own consciousness. We only know what we can see. It's like um, there's an old Zen saying that says consciousness is like it's like a knife that can cut everything, but it can't cut itself. Yeah. Right. And we all, we're always going around dissecting everything, whether it's a good dissection or a bad dissection. It's like just like we go around saying she's hot, she's not hot, she's hot, she's not hot. I'm like this, I'm not like this. But we can't truly see yourself the way that we can't truly see the world. And any, any, other, any other way than our perspective. And she's going through the exact same process. Mm -hmm. So be kind, because she's going through the same feelings as you. She's got the same anxieties as you. She's got the same pangs of life, the same um, feelings of loneliness, the same desire for connection. Mm -hmm. It's like she's reaching out with so much energy, but we fail to see it. We look right past it because we're wrapped up in our own shit, wondering, am I good enough right in this moment? Yeah. <laughs> is, is there just